What I want to do this week is I want to share with you some encounters I've had with God and then release to you what He released to me. During some recent devotional times, um, I was reading my Bible and praying and um, making decrees and uh, just spending time with the Lord. And at one point, I could feel His presence so strongly, I just kind of relaxed and released into it and was just spending time telling Him how much I loved Him. And all of a sudden, I saw the Lord as what I imagined He must have looked like when He walked the earth um, as Jesus, the Son of God and the Son of Man. He looked, you know, uh, dark brown hair, beard, um, sort of the linen robe. And, but what was interesting to me is we were standing in water and He took me in His arms and he, he took me below the water and I realized, oh my gosh, the Lord Jesus Christ is baptizing me. And as I was under the water, the first thing that struck me was how long he was keeping me under the water. And there was this little part of me that's like, I need to come up soon, right? But all of a sudden I realized something amazing. I don't know if I could breathe underwater or if I didn't need to breathe underwater, but all of a sudden I realized I could stay down there as long as I wanted. And in my mind I said, Lord, what is going on? And he said, I am baptizing you in the river of life. And all of a sudden, this scripture came to me, and I want to read it to you. It's out of Revelations 22.1, and this is what it says. And the angel showed me a pure river with the water of life, clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. And it was so interesting to me because that scripture came to mind and all of a sudden I had this total peace to just release completely into this. And as this water of life flowed over me, I could also feel it flowing through me. And it was effervescent. It was almost like it was bubbling. And I could see from under the water, I could see up the river of life to the throne of God where the lamb who was slain was sitting. And I could see the wounds in the lamb and I could see the blood coming from the lamb down the throne into the water and that what was, was giving life to the river of life. And as we know, scripture says there is life in his blood. And as this water flowed over me and flowed through me, oh, I can feel it now even as I talk about it. It was so effervescent and it was, it was making me feel so alive. And honestly, lately I have been really dealing, for the last several weeks I've been dealing with chronic fatigue and I've been dealing with extreme exhaustion and I've been doing all these things to try to help and, and it, just, it, it just didn't seem to be helping. But as I was soaking in the river of life and feeling it flow into me, flow through me, flow over me, I started to tingle all over. And the Lord started giving me decrees to speak life and health and strength to my body. And as I did, I realized my eyes were closed and, and I opened my eyes. And when I did, I could see up through the water to the Lord who was holding me in his arms as he was baptizing me. And his face was shining bright as the sun, even as it talks about in scripture. And all of a sudden, I heard him speak to my heart, my heart and he said, I am refilling you with life and I am refilling you with my light. And I just soaked for I don't know how long it went on as the river of life flowed through me and flowed over me and flowed into me and as his light shined upon me and I could feel myself rejuvenated. It was like I was having a mini revival, a mini refreshing, a mini reformation. And I could feel my body starting to have strength and energy again. And the reason I'm sharing all of this with you is I know for many, it's been a challenging season. It's been a wearying season. And scripture says, Matthew 10, 8 says that we can freely give what we have freely received. So today, in Jesus' name as you are watching this, I freely give, I freely release to you what I have freely received. I freely release to you the life of Jesus Christ. May the river of life that flows from the throne that is fed by the blood of the Lamb who was slain for you, may that river of life flow to you. May it flow over you. May it envelop you. May it flow through you. And I declare right now that you are being energized. You are being revived by the river of life. Everywhere, anything that's dead, anything that's weary, anything that's weak, anything that's exhausted, I declare life and health and strength to you in Jesus' mighty name. And anywhere darkness has tried to come against you, I release the light of Jesus Christ right now, breaking forth. The light of Jesus Christ, that sun of healing, that rises with righteousness in his wings, the sun of righteousness that is rising right now with healing in his wings. Let it come forth, let it come forth, let it come forth as he turns his face upon you, as he smiles his countenance towards you. Relieve, I release the light of Jesus Christ. I release the healing balm of his light and declare all darkness shattered, all darkness goes. May you continue this entire week 
to be enveloped in the light and life of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, unto healing, unto revival, unto reformation, unto renewal, and unto empowerment. In his mighty name, amen.